Good evening and welcome to Newton Talk. My name is Jackie Morrissey and tonight's very special guest is Charles Jacob. He's a Jewish, from the Jewish Advocate and is one of the top Jewish leaders in America. And he was at Newton City Hall last night when they were talking about a resolution that has become, has become very controversial in the city. And I'd like to uh, show a clip of that meeting and talk to you, Mr. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Talk to you about the problem and the situation. Andrew, anytime you want, you can show that clip. Ten minutes to take no action necessary on their resolution of inviting Guantanamo detainee Aziz Abdul Naji to live in Newton. Their originally approved five to zero vote in the Programs and Services Committee switched their vote to a no action necessary during a suspension of the rules after public outcry. The board unanimously kind of said, oops, we're running away, get it out of here. Uh, no action necessary means that they consider, they judge that that uh, resolution to bring a jihadi to Newton shouldn't have been brought up in front of them in the first place. It was a mistake, go away, die, leave me alone. That's it, finished. People stood at the front door to City Hall and about 80 members of the community packed the aldermanic chambers to tell the Board of Aldermen to say no to their resolution. We barely heard about it and the fact that all of this is happening also on election eve makes it even harder for people to be able to focus on exactly what's going on because it's a very big issue and for them to try to sort of slide it through uh, just doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel honest to many of us. I think it would be harboring a terrorist I think an uh, invitation uh, which was proposed by the two lawyers is criminal negligence, is putting all of us at risk of another terrorist attack orchestrated by a person here in Newton. Don't talk about invitation terrorist to Newton, it's assault on all, all, all of us. It's reputation of Newton is in danger and we should protest it and we should repair reputation of Newton right now. I think all the uh, aldermen who, was, uh, who, who brought this to, to, to life uh, should be recalled. Once the board voted to take no action necessary, the crowd applauded. But some community members still want an apology from the two docketers of the item, Alderman Stephen Linsky and Alderman Ted Hesmahan. They need sensitivity training. They need to learn that a free people uh, like us in Newton, you know, consisting of Jews and Christians and atheists and uh, feminists and gays and uh, all of that, um, we don't want to have a jihadi in our midst. We don't want to have a person who went to try to kill Indians and Chechens and who believes in an organization that should rule the world under the banner of Islam and that should subjugate all the rest of us. We, we don't want that here. Many said that the Board of Aldermen should focus on local issues, potholes, not politics. Charles Jacobs says this is a local issue. Unfortunately, terrorism has become a local issue in Massachusetts. Just two months ago, in Sudbury, the FBI arrested a young Muslim man who was going to where? To be trained by lashkar e taiba by the same group that this fellow Naji uh, belonged to. And what were they going to train him to do? To come back to New England and shoot people with machine guns in shopping malls. Jen Adams, Newton News, Newton Center.